Okay, so this, this last part of the basics of Faraday's Law is going to be very short, I promise. And, um, th I'm not saying that, that um, I'm not going to put other videos on Faraday's Law, but that, this is just the basics of Faraday's Law. So there were three ways to change the, the flux then. We could increase or decrease the B, which I showed you how you could do that just by pulling, just by um, pulling that, that hoop either away or toward. You could change the flux in there. It's all about changing the flux. Or you could, I kind of rushed this, but imagine that there's a um, field going, a magnetic field going this way. And this is just wire. This is just wire, and um, that wasn't a closed loop, but as soon as I put another metal wire that would touch this, this would be our closed loop. But this is slidable, and so if you slid this down the way, even though the B wasn't changing, the area would be changing. And so that, that's changing your flux. You're, you're adding flux, or if I slid it the other way, then I would be decreasing the amount of flux. Because... You can think of flux as how many field lines are going through this area. And you'd agree that as I as I move this along, I'm getting more X's in this little area, this area. So there'll be another video on that. And then you can change the orientation of A and B. So look, um, if B, here's a, here's a uh, hoop of wire. It's pivoting on this axis here. And if there's... A field going this way, that's a B field going that way. Then you'd agree there's flux going through there, actually quite a bit of flux going through there. But as soon as I um, turned it 90 degrees like that, now then there would be no flux going through there. So that's another way to change the flux. In fact, that's what most generators do. They rotate a coil of wire through a magnetic field. When you rotate this magnetic wire through this, this mag, when you rotate this wire, this loop through this magnetic field, there's lots of flux then no flux, lots of flux and no flux, which changes the flux, which gives you your, e, your EMF, which, which can create current. One other thing about that, just rotating a loop of wire doesn't do it though. Imagine if I had a magnetic field like this. That's magnetic field. And let's say the hoop was going to be rotated about this axis, like that. So if I rotated it like this, well then I'm not adding any more dots. And so that's the that's just not going to change any flux at all. I'm not going to get any current. Thank you. Bye.